Yeah. And also, I tend to kind of understand where it's coming from because when I read the Bible, I didn't come across any verse. I know any time. Unless you can prove I'm Jesus. I've been a Christian six months. But you know what? I've read the Bible one time. So. No, even better. But what I'm trying to say, even if you've been, what were you before? I was uh, training to be a shaman in the Amazon. Okay. See, thing is, right? You've been a Christian for six months, right? So maybe you can share. So maybe you can teach me something. Because I have never seen anywhere in the Old Testament, even the New Testament, where Jesus says, "I am God." If Jesus says, "I am God," I'll accept Christianity. Right, so the, the whole, whole, whole thing is based on faith. It's based on faith. Wait, 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 based on faith. Wait, 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 one second, one second. Because the Bible says in Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 21, it says, God is not the author of confusion, right? Mm. And, you know, like, why, is, why does Jesus speak in parables? And he says that only the, the truth of the parable will reveal to those who choose to we choose to reveal it. Okay, I get that. But what I'm trying to say, do you not think that your faith would be more solidified if yeah. you can actually back what you believe in? Yeah. Do I don't need like I, I listen, I understand. I wanna I wanna know the word of God because not because I need to prove anything to you because it's the word no, no, of God. No, 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 that's I absolutely fine. I wanna know God more, right? That's why that's why I love the scriptures. Good, right? good. We are on the same boat. We both want right. to know God. Good. But the problem is, right, is that it's your faith will be more solid if you can actually prove what you believe in. Like for example, if yeah. let's say I'm let's say I'm an atheist, yeah. right? And I want to come to Christianity, right? And I say, okay, tell me something about your religion that makes it more appealing to me. You obviously you have to draw some inference from the gospel in order to make me obviously have some type of like. And so this will be very subjective. But what everyone's really seeking on the inside through all these interactions that we have with every human being on every moment and every day is we're seeking love, right? Yeah. And God is love. And if I can convey that love to Jesus by praying for people, that's what that's what that's how I can make God's love through myself and through my actions, through feeding the world. I agree. And that's what that's what builds people's faith that there's something deeper here happening. And it's not caught in these legalistic debates. It's in a real caring and sharing and sharing his love with the world. That's what's really fundamental and that's what's important for me. That's the way that I walk my life. Did Jesus ever claim to be God this morning? Mm. I'm, Did he I'm saying when he said Abraham was I am, it's, it's twice in the Bible, once in the Old Testament, God says, I am that I am to, to Moses, right? That's how you tell them who I am. And the second time he says, someone says I am that the same way mm. is when Jesus contextually in that dialogue he's having with the Pharisees. He says before Abraham was, I am. Okay. Do you know the blind, the, you know the blind man in John chapter 9? No, he, he said this. No, yeah. no, 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 it's very important. Yeah. I think maybe I can just be literal what people say. Yeah. The blind man also used the term I am. Mm. Okay. Correct. Okay. Let's go to John chapter 8, verse 15. About the children of Abraham. That's what it's about. Wow, it's so windy today. My God, it's yeah. so windy. Believe it. Okay, I'll be very brief because I know it's quite windy. I won't take much of your time either. Let's go to John. Chapter 8, verse 58. Can you let him complete the sentence? <laughs> because they exactly. pick up the songs. It's half a sentence. It's half a sentence. Right. So. Uh, Then I will be telling the lie. So I will be like you, but I know him and obey his words. Your ancestor Abraham knew that I would come 
yeah. said at the time. He was happy to know that he would see that time. He did see that time and he was very happy. So let's try to contextualize this. So it said that Abraham will see his death. Right? Did he not say that? The promise that was given to the right. seed of Abraham. Right? Right. Right. Okay. The Jews said, you are not 50 years old yet, but you say that you have seen Abraham. Right. The question is, did Jesus claim to have seen Abraham? Yes, right there. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. If you go to a verse before, right, it says that Abraham was happy to see his days and he was good. Right? It says it here. He was happy to know that he would see that time. Right? He did see that time and he was very happy. The Jews said that you are not 50 years old, but yet you say that you have seen Abraham. Yep. Jesus said, I am telling you what is true. Right? No way did it say, this is what the Jews accused exactly. Jesus of. The Jews accused Jesus of seeing Abraham. So they were asking, well, you're not 50 years old, but exactly. you're claiming to see Abraham. Yeah. He didn't say that. He said that Abraham would rejoice to see his days. Exactly. It's like a prophecy. A prophecy. Like yeah. In the future that you can see in the future. He never said that he had seen Abraham. Right? Then he said, before Abraham was, I am. Now, if we go back to Exodus 3.14. And so that he's saying before Abraham was, he was aware of the promise. Yes, 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 yes. Correct. Right. 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 said, I am the man. Now, in Greek, the word ego emai is used. However, in Greek, the word ego emai doesn't mean I am the man. It doesn't mean that. The translators added that word in, right? But the actual word is I am. So we need to actually cut that word the man out because in Greek it doesn't mean that. Right? What the translators should have done to be consistent that when Jesus said before Abraham was I am, they should have translated it the same way exactly. translated here. They should have said before Abraham was I am the man. But what Jesus was trying to communicate yeah. is that before Abraham was, I am the one that's been spoken about. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. That's the context of it. Yeah. Because remember, the first before it said, right, that Jesus, um, so Abraham saw, he basically prophesied the coming of Christ. And that's why he says, yeah. I, I, saw, I saw Abraham and I, I was pleased. Abraham said, I was pleased to see you. Uh, I was pleased to see Jesus. It's like a futuristic type like of prophecy okay. like, that Jesus was trying to communicate. When, you, when, when Moses spoke to God face to face, right, but no one look at the face of God, who is he speaking to? No, he's speaking to God. But he can't, no one can look at the face but of he, God. In Hebrew, uh, uh, I'm saying that... Did Jesus say that? I'm, I'm saying that in the Old Testament, 
Jesus is there the whole time, the fourth man in the fire, right? When, when he spoke to when he spoke to Moses on the mountain, yeah. the express image of the Father was there as Jesus was the one that Moses spoke. That's why Moses wrote it. But being pre-existent pre does it necessitate that you are God? Yeah, exactly. I'll, tell you, I'll prove to you why. Right. right. Exactly. We got Melchizedek right? mm. in, in Hebrew. Have you heard of Melchizedek? Yeah, I've been. I've been in a priest in order of Yeah, based on my faith. Right. Yeah. Melchizedek, who was who? Okay. Who was Melchizedek? Right, he was the original king of Salem. One of the original yeah. king of Salem, right. king of peace, uh, um, king of uh, righteousness. Yeah, yeah, you're there. Yeah, you're there. Yeah. Right. yeah. So he was born without mother, without father. Had to be, he was a he was the first king and priest. Yeah. He was greater than Abraham, right? Because Abraham blessed him. he was blessed by Abraham, so then Abraham okay. gave him his tithings. Yeah. Um, right. And uh, so you've been doing okay. That's good. So you've been doing some. I know, I know about cheese there. Good, I, I, good. Yeah. Okay, so did Melchester, did he have a beginning of days? No, not according to the Bible. Okay, does God have beginning of days? No. Okay, does God have, does God have an ending of life? No. Does Melchester have the ending of life? Not according to the Bible, no. Okay, right. so who is... Because those, okay. who, are, who, those who are joined his, who go, go into his priestly line don't experience that. Right. right, okay, so who is more, who's got more divine essence and divine power here? Yeah. We've got Melchizedek, no beginning, right. no end. We've got yeah. God, the Creator, no beginning, no end. Right. right? So if we really want to be consistent, we can say that Melchizedek is like the is like a father. Exactly. Do you, do you worship Melchizedek? No. Why? Why you don't? Why? Why is it that Melchizedek has divine attributes like the Father, but you don't worship God? Correct. He's not the Father. Oh, okay. So is Jesus the Father. Exactly. He's not the Father. He's expressed image of God. Okay. So he's not God then. He's not God then. And so you can't understand that, but he comes. He is the one that comes forth from God. He's the only one who filled that role. What was was Jacob the begotten son of God? He's a man. He was the begotten son of. He was called. He was the first born. Right. So why don't you say Jacob? Is God there? Because the whole story of the Old Testament tells of the law, people being not, not being able to fulfill the law, yeah. right? There's the, the need for spilling of blood to atone for their sin, for their separation from God, right? No, we're not talking about the salvation. I'm asking you. I said, but everything is about the salvation. No, but be consistent. No, no, because you're, because you're saying that because Jesus came from the Father, so that right? God wait, wait. had to come as a man, right, 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 through okay. Jesus. Okay, but why wasn't Jacob, why wasn't he deified then. If know. he was called the begotten son of God, then why don't you play why don't you apply the same with Jacob? Why exclusively for Jesus? Because he didn't lay down his life or he didn't go on the cross for What's so unique about sin? that? What's so unique about that? What about dying for people's sin? Yeah, many prophets right? killed were killed. Many prophets were killed. Jesus 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 lived a blameless life. He's the only one who's ever lived a blameless Wait, hang on, hang on. Life. You're He's the only one who's been fully tempted and never gave yeah. it to sin. Matthew, Matthew. Ever. Matthew. Ever. No, no, I'm talking about the the, 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 the terminology, the son of God. Right. If you say G Jesus is God and he comes from the Father because he's the begotten son of God. Right. Then you have I mean, to be. Jesus spoke in word of God. Wait, 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 That's what wait, I mean what? by God. I don't mean begotten. Jesus spoke in I, I don't mean I don't mean begotten in a carnal sense. Okay, sure. So let's apply consistency. Because in the Old Testament, Jacob was also called the begotten son of God. Right. David was also called uh, David was Israel, Israel, right? right? Israel, correct, correct. Right. So does that he mean so he, yeah. he, so does, he wrestle with God? Could do that. So does that mean Jacob had the same nature as the father? If he's the begotten son of God. No, but he had attributes of the father, yeah. Sure. What Jacob? Yeah. How? Being the father of Israel. Yeah, right? This is the first time I've heard. Right? No, 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 no. You're too from biological, I'm asking because you're saying that Jesus is God because he came from the Father, correct? He's a spoken right. word, right? But In a spiritual sense. Right. Spoken word, right? okay, okay. But, but, but came physically. Good, right? But then, but then, but then Jacob was called the begotten son of God. I just like, you guys are never going to get this guy. No, no, I'm like, okay. no, because when he says begotten, go wait, wait, hang on, hang, hang, hang on. You say that Jesus is divine because right. he was the begotten son of God. Right. Right. But Jacob was also called the begotten son of God. Sure. But Adam was also the word of God. Sure. No, so in other words, if someone's called... And Jesus was a new Adam. Okay. So if someone's called begotten, right? 
right? In the case of David, right? In the case of Jacob. Okay, in the case of Jacob. Even David is... And also, and also I think that uh, David's called the begotten son, Psalms chapter 7, verse 1. Yeah. Right? Also, uh, John 3, 16. Yeah. Uh, Jesus called the begotten son of God. However, they changed that, took that word begotten out. Yeah. Because it was actually in the top page of verse. Correct. I don't know if you're aware of this. Okay. In the Revised Standard Version, authorised in 1952, taking the word forgotten out as a fabricated verse. That's why, if you notice in John 3, 16, in the Revised Standard Version, it says, for so, God, for so God loved the world, he sent his only son, for whoever believe in him, believe in him, shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Compare that to the KGV, authorised in 1611, it says, for so God loved the world, he sent his only begotten son, yeah. for whoever believe in him, shall not perish. But have so, life, what yeah. you see, you see, uh, we see evidence of interpolation. And that's actually amazing. Do you know why? We look in the Quran, right? In the Quran, God says, He says, Say, God is one. Right? Allah is summoned. God was not begotten, God doesn't beget, neither was he begotten. It's amazing, because God doesn't beget children. And here in John 3.16... The begotten means he spoke, he came forth. No, it doesn't mean that. That's what begotten means. Okay, so, well, the last time I checked the dictionary definition of begotten doesn't mean to utter a word. It's a, it's a, God, God doesn't have any... No, we're not, no, 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 no we're, not, we're not insinuating that. We're not insinuating you're saying that is an right. offspring of God. We're not insinuating. Right. But what you do say is because... Because, because God Jesus create like like we we ah, create that act, right? Exactly. We create new life. He creates new life by speaking. Exactly. And this is what the Quran is saying as well. Yeah. That that Jesus. Jesus was created a word from him. A word from him. a word. Right. He's the word of God. In that sense. Yeah, but he's every word of God. Hang on. That's but, what it, that's the, maybe that's the distinction. Hang on. Hang on but, but he's every word of God. And nothing was created every, without him. Everything was created in him. He is including spoken, Adam? He is a spoken word. Right, hang on, hang on. Yes. The I believe yeah. that when Jesus was walking, when, when Adam was walking through the garden, he was walking through what we could see as Jesus. Okay, so that's not exclusive to Jesus. Because the reason why, because Adam was created without a mother and father. John the Baptist was created without a biological father as well. So was Jesus Christ. They all, yeah, exactly. So they were created. John the Baptist was yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'd have to lie to him more. Yeah, yeah. So, so because the Quran says in chapter three, verse fifty-nine, the Quran says that in the Mathala Isa in the Lahi Kamathali Adam Khalaqhu min Turab Tumma Qala Lahu Kun Fayakun that the likeness of Jesus in the sight of God is like that of Adam. He created from dust and said, "Being it is, Almighty God, He demonstrates His powers in different ways. He created Adam." With without a mother and a father. He created Eve from the ribs of Adam. He created Jesus without a biological father. And he created us with a mother and father. That does not mean that Jesus is God. That does not mean Adam is God. God is just demonstrating his creation in different ways. So if we say... Sorry, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I just want to show you something very quickly, right? And uh, it's it's the first that my respected brother showed me, and I want to bring it to your attention because I think this is quite an amazing verse, right, from the Bible. And uh, because if you are, if you believe that Jesus is God, because he said before Abraham was I am, I like to show you this verse, right? In Proverbs chapter eight. Solomon. Yeah. He said, the Lord chose me in the beginning before the world began. Exactly. Wait, hold on. I appeared before he created the seas. Yeah. I appeared when there was no water on earth. Right. I appeared before he created the mountains. Wow. Right. It's about Solomon, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Solomon. I appeared Solomon. before he Solomon created Manali. the hills. I was with him before he created the earth and his fields or even the ground. Right? I was there when he created the sky. I was there when he made the sky separate from the sea. How do you, I know, was that, there. How do you know that he isn't prophesying about the coming of Jesus? Then? No, no, because he said I was there. Right, but he, he you could say like David was talking about himself in the Psalms, but he was talking about Jesus. The whole now, time now, himself, you're right? an now you're making an assumption. Now you're making an assumption. Jesus said that. <laughs> yeah, this is, this I, is I have Jesus. to fulfill what was written about me in the Psalms, in the law. Right? That's what he says. My and brother, the prophets. My brother. They prophesied. I understand what you're saying. Right. And it sounds great, but it's not in compliance with what it's not. Yeah, because you have you, a, you have an interpretation. No, right. it's not Brother, interpret not I am interpret reading exactly. Exactly. The word. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you took, if you took the word righteousness, right, we would say what was righteousness, what we think righteousness means. No, we don't decontextualize. He's giving you the context. Right? But if you looked at what the way the word righteousness means to God, it means Wait, vastly on. more than we can conceive. What's your name, 
Matthew. 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 If I said Hamza is with Matthew, right. I, yeah. am I talking like this is happening now? I am with you, right? Oh, yeah, am, I, am I with you? Or am I so you have, like, you have a very naturalistic view of the way that it's written. No, no. Right. Listen, I am reading it verbatim. It says. Right. I'll read it again. So then why why so what, wait, wait, hold on one so, second. So when David said the Lord like that's, no, what, that's what Jesus quotes, right? No, the Lord said to my Lord, right? No, and that's how that's how Jesus says that he's greater than David. Right? No 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 no. Right? You're you're he going himself, and, but if you, if you just read that psalm by itself and you didn't know who Jesus was, it would have no context and you would see that it's just talking about David, right? But now when Jesus comes and he quotes that psalm, right? Then you know it's prophesying his coming, right? That in, Matthew, inter Matthew. woven in the scriptures is the coming of Jesus the whole time. Listen, Matthew, right? I, I completely understand what you're saying. Right. I am not dismissing what you're saying. I yeah. think what you're saying is, is great. However, <laughs> what I'm saying to you, right, is that if we go back to John 8, like you guys don't have a lot of faith. No, I have faith. Right? I have faith. You're speaking to a, a man who has faith. Oh, and I'm proof. sure we all have. With proof. Right? But with proof. Well, faith doesn't require proof. 